lovely to see you. Yeah, I'll have to see you too. Thank and you. well, some of you at least. I, I can't see all of you at the moment, okay. but uh, that, I'll take what I can get. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so how uh, you have something new? I saw this was posted. So what is yeah, this? Yeah. So this is an, uh, basically a preamp for guitars, but it has some special features for the Eurex scene. So it has, for example, envelope for lower. It can also be used by other signals, so it has also line input. And if you play guitar, for example, uh, the control voltage which comes out of the envelope for lower follows the volume of the guitar signal. So you can set it to pre or to post, so after the distortion unit and before the distortion unit. And then you can control, for example, the filter or any other parameters of synthesizers um, with the control voltage of the envelope for lower. And it has also a gate output, so you can, can change here the threshold and then you can trigger an envelope with the guitar signal. But the main thing is you are really getting a kind of amp signal from, from this preamp. It has a drive section for distortion, it has an EQ section and a mid booster. And you can also go directly into your amp with it, or you can go to, with the output to the Eurorack system. Oh, interesting. And then bring the guitar into the Eurorack world. So. Excellent. Well, uh, we have Mr. Jason Jervis here, very natty. <laughs> Look at this. Trainers. I don't know. I, th I, I would like to see brogues, if I'm honest, but uh, you know. I have brogues, but they're too heavy for... Yeah, yeah, yeah I know so that. I've got you some mean. very nice brogues, triggers, so... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so do we want to hear this? Is it... Why is it now? And then you see here that the threshold is uh, reacting on the signal. And I can you know, put it here onto the filter. And and we have this FX unit. I have not selected any effects yet. Well, it sounds I'm like putting some delay on it, yeah. onto it. Nice. But it's, uh, essentially we're talking about something that is a, it's like a, a, a dedicated guitar input channel. That yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, it sounds good. I yeah. Mean, what, uh, what, what made you want to go in that direction? I mean, because I, I can't think of anything that does this already, I guess. I, I, yeah, I just think they are... Um, so for you, there's nothing like this available, I think. There's one input from Strymon, which is just an impedance converter. But we thought uh, it would be nice to have a great guitar tone just already in the system then. So without having to mic preamps or something like this, and then you can... Are you laughing about it? No, it's just well, it's, it's, as, a, as, a, as a guitar player yeah. who's into synthesizers, yeah, and, and has started their modular journey. Something uh, like this is like it's a must-have. Yeah, I so think so. It, it's, yeah. And it's something yeah. I've always wanted, wanted to be doing. So yeah, it's, I think it's, it's just amazing. obvious. There are so many different Eurorack modules on the market, and so everyone looks what it can do, what what no one. Yeah has done before, so it's just So, I mean, I guess you could, put, you could put synthesizers into it as well and drive those, right? Yeah, sure, you can distort to the signal of a synthesizer, but you can also use, for example, can, can enter a drum sound into the envelope for lower and then take the trigger signal to do something like a transient designer or to, to make drum sounds shorter by an external envelope or or whatever, so you can do a lot of different stuff with it, for sure, yeah. So what, uh, when, when's it going to be in the world and uh, how much is it going to be? It's about December. Okay. Yeah. And how much? Uh, it's uh, 299 the price of it, yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jorg. And Jason. Thank you, yeah, sir. Thank you. <laughs>